Ann Coulter wrote an article about how evil soccer is. Now, look, you guys probably already know if you listen to the show on a regular basis, especially the live show. I've done it many times in the live show. I care more about the senior golf tour than I do about soccer and the World Cup. So I'm definitely no fan, and in fact, I have gleefully mocked the parade of idiots who haven't said a word about soccer in two years, and now all of a sudden they pretend to be experts. Now all of a sudden they have opinions on who's the best and who can win, and oh, you know, Ghana's midfielder, this is guy, this guy, <laughs> it, it, they gotta get rid of him, he's not, he's not up to par with the rest of the team. Am I right, people? Am I, you don't know anything about the fucking soccer team of Ghana, you pretending motherfucker, you're just trying to fit in with people and act cool. I know about soccer, I care about the World Cup because everybody else does. It's so silly, it's so sheepish, I can't take it, okay? So clearly I'm no fan. <laughs> I'm showing my passion on this topic right now. I also hate how people all of a sudden, they call it football. You've never called soccer football before. Why? You're in America and football is football. All right? It doesn't make you a worse person if you call it soccer. That's how you were raised, so call it what you know it fucking is. Stop trying to fit in, you cunt. But anyway, I'm getting carried away here. I'm Seemingly, I'm agreeing with Ann Coulter, apparently. But I actually don't because she is going to take it way too far. She says, quote, Individual achievement is not a big factor in soccer. In a real sport, players fumble passes, throw bricks, and drop fly balls, all in front of a crowd. When baseball players strike out, they're standing alone at the plate, but they're also, there's also individual glory in home runs, touchdowns, and slam dunks. In soccer, the blame is dispersed, and almost no one scores Anyway, that's amazingly stupid because it's not even true. The idea that there's no individual achievement in soccer? Yeah, when there's a goal scored, it's one dude scoring the goal. They don't all score it at once. Uh, th the way that she tries to twist shit and make it fit her already held beliefs is so silly. Basketball is a team sport. Football is a team sport. Soccer is a team sport. So why are you singling out... The fact that soccer is a team sport when all the other ones are, and you're saying that makes soccer worse, but they're all that. It doesn't make any sense, but this is classic Ann Coulter. She continues, quote, Liberal moms like soccer because it's a sport in which athletic talent finds so little expression that girls can play with boys. No serious sport is co-ed, even at the kindergarten level. Ugh, this, she is filled to the brim with hatred. It gets worse. Quote, the prospect of either personal humiliation or major injury is required to count as a sport. Most sports are sublimated warfare. Whoa, 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 whoa. Think about how stupid that is. So in order to be a sport that's enjoyable, there needs to be risk of serious injury. And by the way, who decided unilaterally that there's no risk like that in soccer? Soccer players have never broken their legs, have never hurt their Achilles tendon, have ne that's never happened. There have been fucking articles coming out recently that it, it does tremendous damage to head a ball that's going fucking 35 miles an hour right at your face. You want to try that, Ann Coulter? It would knock your head smooth off. So she, again, she makes it up as she goes along. And why are you, she loves, she's like bloodthirsty for war. I think she probably gets off at the idea of actual war. Never mind her goofy idea that you need to get hurt in order to enjoy something, enjoy a sport. Uh, okay, I saved the worst for last. You think <laughs> we haven't even gotten started with the worst part? Quote I promise you, no American whose great grandfather was born here is watching soccer. Oh, I see where you're really going with this. It all has to do with Ann Coulter's racism. Now it all comes out. And also, that's not true either. There are plenty of people whose great-grandfathers were born here that are watching it. So many people. Almost everybody's watching the World Cup. Everybody but me is watching it. Everybody but me. Even people that don't like it are watching it. Okay? Uh, she says, One can only hope that, in addition to learning English, 
these new Americans will drop their soccer fetish with time. Ugh, again, the racism. I hate soccer because, ooh, dirty Mexicans like soccer. Dirty people with dark skin. Ugh, I don't, they're dirty. Mm, I need some pure white people. Get these, uh, uh, the other away from me. This is nasty. Uh. She's so transparent. But finally she says, Americans will drop their soccer fetish with time. Any growing interest in soccer can only be a sign of the nation's moral decline. Oh, no, you didn't. You just said... Liking soccer equals moral decay? Do you even know what morality means? Your idea of morality is picking football or baseball over soccer? Again, I'm no fan of soccer, but that's the silliest thing I've ever heard in my life. There's no moral aspect to what sport you like or don't like. How childish are you? That's the way you view the world in that black and white way? That, oh, the other, the dark-skinned people who don't speak English, they like soccer. So not only do I not like soccer, they're worse people than I am. So therefore, their sport is morally inferior. No, no, the irony here, as always with Ann Coulter, is that everything she accuses other people of being, that's what she is, you know? So while she's you oh, you're immoral, you're a bad person, you're nasty. You are all of those things. And this article proves it beyond any doubt, when you manage to take something like a sport and call people immoral and bad people and learn English and take the whole idea of racism and you mesh it in and shove it in everybody's face. Look, a lot of people think uh, Ann Coulter is doing this high-minded trolling thing. She might be. She might be a long-running social experiment. But either way, I hate her fucking guts. Because she is the epitome of everything that's wrong. Everything that's the worst parts of America. The uber elite whiteness with that look down your nose like I'm better than everybody and Doug, keep the darkies away from me and oh you're all your tastes are oh they're they're below us really I mean we eat caviar and go to the Hamptons uh in the summers so uh, stay away you inferior ones oh man but you are the inferior one Anne, and your belief system makes you that.